Okay, systems, it's a major topic in algebra. And what we wanna do is understand them fast. So that's the goal of this video. And I'm gonna to try to get it done within a short period of time, seven, 10 minutes or so. But um, I wanna uh, establish a level of expectations here. What I mean by understand them uh, means that I'm gonna give you a good overview of what they are. It's not the same as you being able to master them. Okay, so let's not get that confused. If you really need a lot of help on systems, I'm gonna leave a, a link in the description um, below of uh, this uh, video that you can go and check out my um, my courses, my full math courses if you like my teaching style. And I teach everything about systems in there. Uh, you would probably, um, if you're an Algebra 1, you would check out my Algebra course, but I have Algebra 2 and I have other courses as well. All right, so let's get into it and let's see if we can uh, do this within a reasonable period of time. So systems, what are they? Well, first of all, let's just kind of draw a system here. I'll write one out, excuse me. And just, just a run of, of a mill system that you're gonna face when you're when you're taking a uh, course like say pre-algebra, algebra one, algebra two, college algebra, any of those type of courses, this is a system. Now this is what we call a linear system, all right? Now basically, if you remember in algebra, when you have an equation and you have X and Y's in them, this forms actually an equation of a line. So this is a line and this is a line, okay? So this is a line, let's call this line one, and let's call this line two. So a line, an actual uh, line on the xy axis, okay? Now I'm simplifying a lot of things here, but again, if you understand what I'm, gonna, um, uh, what I'm talking about here, you're gonna be in a real good position to really kind of build your skills and uh, systems. All right, so, so here is a system. You have two big brackets around it, and, and, and what's inside are two line uh, equations of lines. Now, there's, this is the most common system. Right? This is a two by two system. It has two variables and two equations. There's other type of systems, but probably the majority of you out there watching, these are the type of systems that you're going to be um, uh, studying, okay? So I want you to understand this concept of two lines, okay, that make up a system. So let's use some colors here. Let's use red. So let's say this is line one, okay? And let's use another color like blue. And let's say this is line two. Now these can totally not be these uh, uh, the lines of these particular systems, but again, a system is basically examining two lines, okay? That's a linear system, all right? So here we go, uh, one line and another line. Now, I got to keep kind of just throwing this in here. There is a lot of other ways to kind of think about systems, but I, you know, from my experience as a math teacher, this is a really good way to kind of un start understanding what they are, okay? So let's just review. A linear system is no more than two lines, okay? Look, and we're looking at them kind of together. So here I have one line, okay? And here I have another line, right? So if I was to graphically look at two lines, here's the graph of two lines, right? So what's this thing about a system? Like, what are we trying to do? Well, you're trying to solve a system of equations. And the solution to a system is the point where two lines intersect. So this, these two lines here intersect at this point. So let's just kind of make up a coordinate. Let's say this is the point three, five, for example. Okay, so this uh, coordinate, x, y point three, five would be on the red line. It's also on the blue line. So a point that's on both of these lines is the solution to a system. And so you're trying to uh, find the solution to these systems uh, and what you're really doing is trying to find the point where these two lines may cross, okay? So we understand ourselves so far? Uh, let's kind of redo it like this. Inside of a system, you have one line, it's called line one, and another line, line two, and the goal is to determine the point where they cross. So let's get into three ways that uh, you'll learn how to do this in algebra, okay? And again, we're talking about linear systems, which is gonna be the majority of systems that uh, uh, apply to most students out there, okay? So the first way that you find this point of intersection is graphically, by graphing, okay? 
In other words, you would simply graph both lines in the system. Again, of course, you don't have to know how to graph the lines and just look on your graphing paper and say, oh, the lines cross right there. That's the solution. And that is one technique. <clears throat> but that's a very um, impractical way of doing things. We only kind of learn that as a uh, introduction to systems, okay, that, that technique. The second way is the substitution method, okay? The substitution method. So that's a particular method where you solve for one variable, okay, in one of the equations and you plug in uh, the solution to that variable into the other equation and you, and you solve. Again, I'm not going to try to teach you all this uh, the, uh, in, in a short period of time. I'm just giving you a quick overview. So if you need to understand the substitution method, I have other videos on that on my YouTube channel. And then you can also check out my full courses um, by clicking on the, uh, the link in the description of this video. But that's the substitution method, right? So we have a graphing method, substitution method. And then the third way is what we call the linear combination or the elimination method, okay? So that's when you combine two of the equations in a, a particular way such that you eliminate one of the variables and then you solve. So you really do need to understand uh, these two methods for sure, okay? Even if you're good at the substitution method and you're like, I don't need to know the other method uh, or vice versa, you need to know both, okay? So these are the three ways we solve systems, okay? So we solve systems with these three techniques, okay? So that's the first thing. Now, does every system have a solution. Okay, so now let's talk about that. Let's kind of erase these lines. So, well, the answer is no, okay? I'll show you why graphically. So let's say I have one line here, okay? And then I have another line like this, okay? So what's going on there? Well, what's going on there, right? Yeah, hopefully I drew this pretty good, that these lines are parallel to one another. So they'll never cross. So a system here, okay, and you may not be able to tell it um, algebraically uh, that the that the lines, were, yeah, there is a way to kind of tell, but you may have to manipulate the equations. But um, if the lines do not intersect the lines of the system, then this this right here would be no solution. Okay, so that definitely can happen. All right, so that's one other scenario. So right now. With the system, you can have, let's kind of write it over here. You can have one solution. You can have uh, no solutions. And there's one other possible outcome. And I'm going to draw that, okay? So when you're solving a system, you know, there's not a guarantee that you're going to have a solution, right? You may not have no solutions. But there's one other uh, scenario, and that is an infinite amount of solutions. Now, the way that would look, like is this. Here you have one line and the the other line of the, of the system is right on top of the first line. Okay, effectively they're the same line. So how many times do these two lines intersect? Well, they're intersecting at every point. Okay, so they intersect at infinitely many points. So in this scenario, you would have many or infinitely uh, many solutions. Okay, so I'm just going to use the word many. All right. So if you understand what I just, you know, um, laid out here in a uh, very brief, short period of time, then you've got to probably underst understand at least, say, two-thirds or three-fourths of the concept of systems. The skills you need to know are, A, um, that, you know, uh, you need to understand the substitution method and the elimination combination method, but you also need to understand how to graph lines so you can kind of examine um, uh, and graphically solve these guys. Now here, this particular system here, I have the variables X and Y, <clears throat> but in these systems, which are again are going to be the most common systems, you could have other variables as well. As long as there are two different variables, it could be A and B, so just imagine this being an A and this be a B. A W, a Z, it doesn't make a difference. And you can even get into fancier variables, but basically you're solving for two different variables. So our solutions are going to be a, a um, two values, okay? So point 
on a graph as an x, y point, right? So like back over here, we had those two cross at the point, uh, let's say three, five. Three is x and five is y, okay? So hopefully this is kind of like pulling it together. Now let's talk about a couple other things. I don't want to let have this video go too far. Just uh, very briefly, some other things that we do with systems, okay, that are very common. So another thing that we do with systems is do what we call systems of inequalities, okay? This is something that you're probably going to need to be familiar with. So let's take a look at that real quick. So let's say I have one line of a system here, and let's call that line one, and then another uh, line, like, let's say this way, line two. Okay. So in our system, let's just make something up. Let's say I have two X plus Y. Now, normally you would have, uh, equations. Okay. Um, an equal sign for our, one of our equations inside the system, but with systems of inequalities, what you have are actual inequality signs, something like this. So less than, 10 and you might have some like x minus y is greater than or equal to 5 okay so this right here it's a system because it both has two variables okay but instead of having equal signs they have inequality so this is a whole nother category of um things that you have to understand when you're when you're dealing with systems okay so effectively and, and i'm going to go very fast here what you're looking for is you need to know, understand how to graph a line and where the true portion, the true and false portion uh, area solution regions are for that particular line. So let's say if you don't, and by the way, I'm kind of getting off on a tangent here. So uh, if, you, if you're if you getting lost, don't worry about it. You're going to need additional help. Again, the purpose of this video is just to give you a, a summary, right? But here, we can graph this line and determine where the solution region is. When you're when you're when you're solving um, uh, linear equations, uh, linear uh, equations that have inequalities with them, okay, one or one side or the other is the solution region. So let's just take this uh, red line. Let's suppose the solution region was this way, this side of the line, okay. And then let's take this blue line and let's suppose its solution region was this way, okay. So what we have to do in a, a systems of inequalities is to, is to take each inequality that makes up the system and determine its individual solution uh, region. So you can see here we have the yellow, then we have the green. But if you notice here that they both overlap, they're overlapping, let's use a different uh, way of showing this, they're op overlapping in this region here, okay? So this, um, shared or, or joint uh, overlapping region where both of these lines are intersecting is the solution region for the system of inequalities. So this these problems are very involved, okay? But you need to uh, be able to do them. So I'm going to uh, touch base real, real fast on some other topics that you're going to need to know. I'm not even going to go into them because they're just uh, too much. Uh, you can also... Um, uh, get into a uh, linear programming okay and this is a quite involved topic that uh, deals with systems probably one of the uh, areas that algebra students struggle with the most out of the whole entire course of algebra <laughs> it's pretty involved but it's something that um, uh, you need to be aware of and even if you don't totally understand it, you need to be uh, aware of it, okay? It has to do with, um, they're basically gigantic word problems that use systems and systems of inequalities. So again, in a, an overview of uh, some of the things that you're going to have to know when we're talking about systems. But to wrap up this video here, everything I talked about here, what a system is and the techniques, how to solve them, this probably constitutes oh three-fourths of what you're going to have to understand so if you get that down you probably could pass your chapter test on systems if you're facing one okay let's go and wrap this up uh so again if you need like specific help on systems <clears throat> um you can find a lot of videos on, on uh, my channel on youtube and i hope you uh, consider subscribing if you need extensive instruction then you'll want to maybe look into uh, taking my uh, one of my courses um so 
if you subscribe, please uh, hit that bell notification. And if this you know video was helpful to you, maybe consider uh, giving a thumbs up. And please comment. You know, let me know if this video was helpful uh, in some way, or if you have questions. I try to read as many of the comments as possible to get uh, ideas what I think um, students are looking for in terms of math help. Um, so. I may not be able to respond to your comment, but I do try to read as many as I can. So hopefully you learned a little bit of something about systems, uh, linear equations, and uh, appreciate your time and have a great day.